Hi, Sisrin here with another video, and this is 10 things I wish I knew before playing Path of Exile. Number one, capping your resistances. A lot of games don't like assume that you have a lot of resists or make the game very incredibly easy early on. Path of Exile does not do this. In Path of Exile, you're basically very early expected to get 75 rests early on. Chaos Resist, not as important. In fact, you can clear pretty much everything in the game with minus 60. And a number one tip I have for capping your resist early is remember you can use your crafting bench for white gear. So you can rest cap already in Act 2. Number two, the order of the gems doesn't matter. For uh, trigger gems, it does. Like It doesn't matter if your fireball is in your weapon. It can be in your chest. It can be in your shoe. And it doesn't need to be the first gem there. It can be the third. Things like that. Pretty great to know. UI options like the settings and just being able to like in, in the input, you can change keybinds uh, as well. And just honestly looking through the options, very, very good. But having a health bar above my head, always showing the health bar and also making your minimap look clear really nice. I have landscape transparency to the left and map transparency to the right and it just pops. Chests and trunks are pretty much useless. Now, sometimes you'll get someone saying, and remember, open your chest. Now, you actually should never open all your chests because it is an insane time sink and efficiency in Path of Exile is very important. Yes, you might occasionally get an Exalted Orb, but that's the same as, you know, you kill one monster in the corner of a map that you've been running in the map for 10 minutes trying to find the last monster and that drops a mirror. Now you should always full clear every map. The thing is, everything like that is an infinite resource in Path of Exile. We're never going to run out of monsters for, to kill and we're never going to run out of chests to open. So it's all about balancing your time efficiency. So it's a lot better to just blast through a hundred monsters and clicking a chest. So because of that, the only time I open chests is in maps with really good divination cards. So burial chambers, for example, because there, yeah, there, there is a reason you can find doctors there. Other than that, you would be very, very surprised how much time you're wasting going around clicking chests and generally they're worse loot. That being said, just as long as you're having fun, you're not doing anything wrong. The vast majority of uniques in Path of Exile are useless. Now, if you're playing solo cell phone, it is great to hoard uniques and put them in your unique tab, but generally they are uh, not worth a lot. So it'll be very exciting when you first play dropping unique, but generally rare items are the true uniques of Path of Exile. Blasts are the number one most important thing. It is the single most important thing I see new players mess up and they're just incredibly strong. It's actually why I had my very first death. So I started playing Path of Exile on Hardcore League and i got to like level 50 or 60 which was pretty high back then and um i died to monsters with an aura substantial fist uh extra damage it was a skeleton in fell shrine ruins in merciless or cruel it used to have multiple difficulties and the reason why i died was that it was bursting me down and i had an overtime last life last so you really want to make sure that you either have bubbling i think it's maybe changed names now but the one that's either half instant or full instant you're very rarely like, oh no, I'm dying any minute now, I'm dead. You're mostly like, thump, 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 you're dead. So having Flask respond to you instantly, huge. But more than that, very often we'll see like players running around with two life Flask, two mana Flask, and a Quicksilver, and they do not understand how important uh, utility Flasks are. Quartz Flask, insane survivability. You can get phasing in other ways, but Quartz Flask is a good, easy, reliable way to get phasing. And if you can run straight through the monster pack, any melee monster while moving through it cannot do anything to you. The number one thing where we see people die to melee monsters is that they get stuck in a pack and then burst it down. And Jade and Granite Flask, are they've been reduced in power six times, I think. I think they started with 10,000 armor and 10,000 evasion. They're now down to 1,500 armor and 1,500 evasion. They're still incredibly strong. It's easier than ever to also put percentage evasion or percentage armor on them. And it really makes a huge difference for mapping now. Instances reset if you're gone too long. So sometimes you'll like go in a map, go back out, maybe do some trades and... Yeah, the instance can fully crash sometimes even while the portals are still open. Generally, a zone lasts between like 7 to 15 minutes. So don't stay out of your map too long. And generally, you want to like, if you really want to make a lot of money in Path of Exile, efficiency is key and treating the hideout like it's lava. So just boom, boom, boom. 
uh, and then take a longer break whenever you need it. But being efficient when you're playing can make you so much more currency. Bender recipes, incredibly, incredibly important in Path of Exile. Six sockets sell for seven jewelers. And just knowing things that you can buy one fusing for four jewelers from the vendor, really, really important. And then you have vendor recipes. Like if you take a blue wand, one alteration, and a white, blue, or a rare topaz, sapphire, or ruby ring, that'll give you flat out damage added to spells, which is huge for the early game. You, you literally will not believe how much damage this will add early on on a character. And following a guide is incredibly important. Now, very often in video games, I'll say just experiment, just play around on your own and do what you feel like. However, in Path of Exile, the regret system isn't really that good. It really honestly needs a revamp. I honestly believe that for the first 50 or even 70 levels, the respect should be free or at least one free because whenever a new player comes and be like, hey, sis, I was trying out the game on my own, having a really good time, but my build is pretty weak. How do I go from here to transition to one of your build guides? Yeah, you got to make a new character, bro. You know, that feels kind of bad. So following a build guide from the start until you're more comfortable to experiment on your own is really, really strong. And last but not least, no backtracking. Backtracking is honestly the biggest thing for survivability. And very often people will send me a rip clip or something like that. Maybe they're a new player or anything, but very, very often a large, large amount of deaths is because of backtracking. So if you're able to just walk forward in a fight, make circles around the boss, you ideally never want to backtrack because bosses don't have predictive tracking at all. That's definitely coming because there is one boss in the game that does have predictive tra tracking and that is Hailrake. Just don't backtrack. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.